Good everybody, back with another episode of the Cold Beats Podcast. And I think it's like the fourth one now. I don't know. I've kind of been slacking off the last couple of weeks. Uh, like when I first started, I was trying to do this like every week, but psh, I mean, shit, ain't nobody perfect. But anyhow, all right, let's get into it. So, bro, shit is crazy right now. Like, think about the time that we're living in right now. In like 10, 20 years, you're going to be looking back to this time and you're going to be like, bro, remember, remember when that fucking corona shit happened and everybody was, you know what I mean? Like, and you're going to be telling your kids and your grandparents, or your, your grandparents, your grandkids and shit like that, you're going to be like, yeah, this fucking corona shit, everybody was tripping, everybody was buying all the toilet paper, nobody could leave their house, everybody was on quarantine. Like, bro, we're living in some crazy ass times, like, and like... I guess shit like this has happened, like, before, back, you know, like, a long time ago with, like, plague and all that shit or whatever. But, like, as far as, like, pretty much everybody on Earth, like, nobody has ever really went through this type of shit because, I mean, this shit ain't really happened in the past, whatever, whatever. But, like, this shit's crazy. Well, especially, no, with social media now and, like, all the uh, the news blowing out of everything and, the and, uh, prop... Uh, what's it called? I was about to say propaganda. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> I'm not gonna say propaganda. Like fucking what? What do they call paparazzi? I don't know. Just with the media and all that shit, like, like of course it's gonna have a bigger impact on people because everybody's more in tune with what's going on. Like back in the day when shit would like this would happen, like not everybody would know about it. And if you did know about it, it really wasn't. It was just something you read in the paper or less. Maybe you saw it, but like now it's like. You can literally just go on your phone and bam, see all this crazy shit about the coronavirus and like, y'all, like for real, this shit's this shit's serious. Like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not like a huge conspiracy theorist or anything like that, so I'm not gonna go into fucking the, you know what I mean, all that bullshit or whatever. But like, dude, all I gotta say is wash your hands. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be going fucking eating at all kinds of places or there. Everybody's actually everything's probably like closed down by now or whatever. But, like, bro, this shit's crazy, for real. Like, this shit's wild. Uh, hopefully everybody's being safe and whatnot. And uh, I don't even know what kind of, like, producer shit I'm going to talk about. I just... I usually, when I do these, I don't really plan them. I don't like to plan a whole bunch of things because whenever you plan something, I feel like... I don't know. I, just, I like going on a whim and doing stuff. Like, when people ask me, hey, bro, what are you doing tomorrow? Or, like, what are you doing in, like, a week from now? Or, like bro i hate that question because i'm just like i don't know like i like dude i'm just gonna go with the flow whatever i feel like doing that day that's what i'm gonna do i don't like really like playing and stuff because i might wake up that day and just not feel it you know what i mean so something like this like if i feel like doing some something like this it's gonna come out a lot more organic it's gonna come out come out a lot more like i don't know like that's why i like i don't really like planning shit ahead i mean it's good to plan i guess and be organized and, and stuff like that but but whatever um, so, uh, I have a new loop, loop kit, sample pack, whatever you want to call it coming out. It's, I don't, I'm not sure. All the loops are done. I actually just need one more good loop. I have 19 loops that are like, I think they're, pre they're pretty good. They're pretty good loops. They're, uh, they're all made by me from scratch, like five or six of them. I made with my actual guitar. I've been using my guitar a lot more lately and all, all of my stuff. And I just need like one more really good loop to make it 20, 20 good loops. I mean, I could just go back and dig dig through some of my older stuff and just like pick a loop from some of my other stuff. But I want to come up with with like one more really good loop. And I'm gonna, it's going to be it's gonna be 20 loops. And it's all going to be free. It's going to be royalty free and all that stuff. And I'm going to... I just need some like some artwork for it, and I just need to. Uh, that's basically. I just need one more loop and some artwork, and then it's and it's good to go. But um, if you're listening to this, DM me on Instagram at, at uh, Coho Beats, and I'll just send it to you for free. It's like it's a free thing. Here pretty soon, I'm gonna try to get like you know. I mean, in the near future, I hope to have like you know like a website you know that you can go to like CohoBeats.com or some shit like that. But right now, everything's just, like, email, uh, BeatStars, you know, like, uh, Instagram, stuff like that. 
but so yeah i've been making a lot of loops lately i haven't been i've still been making beats but it's like i haven't really been making beats off of these loops a few of them i have but usually i'll just like make the loop and i'll just i'll just like go put it in the folder of if i know i'm gonna put it in the pack or not i'll just go put it in the folder and uh because like i want to have like if maybe one day i'm not feeling it or something i can just like go grab like one of these loops or something it's just I've been trying to make more loops instead of just making a whole bunch of beats. So I'll just like make three or four loops in a row and just like, you know, chill out for a little bit, come back and make a couple more. And then the good ones I'll keep and put in the pack or whatever. So that's how I've been going about it. And then like whenever I do want to make a beat, like I'll just, I usually use somebody else's loop or something like that or just go grab a, uh, I mean, there's, I'm sure everybody's got tons of loops just sitting around. I'll just go grab a random loop off my computer and use that. I don't know, it's kind of like, it's kind of funner. It's kind of fun to use other people's loops and shit like that. But anyhow. So what else is going on in the road? We got Corona. We got Rona. And we got more Corona. Fucking crazy ass shit. What else has been going on in the world? Yeah, that's about it. Corona. Like, dude, that shit's everywhere. Think about it. Like, three or four months ago... In, like, January, I think we was just now hearing about it in, like, January. And it was kind of like, I remember when they first talked about it, I was like, oh, dude, that shit ain't, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of another one of those things you kind of brush off and you think it's never going to affect you or anybody or, like, anybody close to you. But next thing you fucking know, that shit's everywhere and it's in your city and everybody's on quarantine. It's, like, a worldwide thing just in a couple months. Like, like damn, that shit's crazy. Don't eat bats. That's all I gotta say. But anyhow. It's just crazy. And the thing about it is like every like everybody's saying now is the time. Like shit, if you're trying to start something new, now's the time to do it. Because I mean, a lot of people are home from work, a lot of people are quarantined in their house, a lot of people are just like like, bro, even though this is, like, a really bad thing, and it's, like, affecting, and it's, and it's uh, killing people, and everybody's getting sick, I mean, you always just gotta find the positive, if any, in any situation. You just have to find, like, what might could come good out of it. The thing that might come good out of it is a couple things. People might start being a little bit more, how do you say, like, uh, hygienic or cleanliness or whatever, however you want to say it. They start washing their hands more, you know what I mean? Like, or, and people are, and a, another thing, this might give a lot of people a chance to take a step back from their fast paced everyday life that, that always just boom, 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 going, going, going. And people might start to find the things that they're actually like passionate about. Like, you know what I mean? Like they might, they might not go to work for a couple weeks and in those two or three weeks or whatever they might find something that they end up doing for the rest of their life and end up being like a career change like there's some good that can even though it's for most for the most part it's a bad situation there is good that can come out of it because you know what i mean people can people can reassess their life and just kind of like go back to the drawing boards and see what they really want to do and then it also puts everything in perspective for you like bro like you know nobody's promised tomorrow you could fucking, I mean, nobody's promised tomorrow, so you never, so you just need to do what you really want to do with your life instead of, you know what I mean? Like, don't just do shit just, just to get by, just to be 90 years old and then look back and be like, oh, I never tried this and never tried that. Like, what, like, think about the things that you really like, that you really like to do. And whether you're doing those things after work or, or somehow you figure out a way to monetize that, like, bro, with social media and, and YouTube and Instagram, there's, there's so many ways to monetize anything. You can monetize anything almost nowadays. If you just put in a, a like, shoot, it might take five, ten years to, to build a business or build something for yourself that you actually like doing, but you can do it nowadays. I mean, just don't, don't worry about... See, everybody wants to, like boom boom they want it to be really really quick they want to start something and in six months a year later they want to have it all like like bro you might have to grind for 10 years to get to the point where you want to be with your craft or with your uh whether you do art or make beats or you sing or rap or whatever like 
you might have to grind at that for 10 years before you get to the point where you're able to sustain yourself off of it instead of working like a regular job or whatever but if that's what it takes wouldn't you rather be 30 or wouldn't you rather be like 35 and be able to quit your job and be able to do what you want to do for the next 20 years or whatever of your life instead of be 45 and still have never tried the thing you wanted to do and then be 55 and never have even tried the shit you wanted to do like wouldn't you rather be you know what i mean wouldn't you rather be I don't know. I guess you know what I'm trying to say. Like, just go for it. Whatever it is you want to do, just go for it. See, like, I'm, I'm prepared to, for the next 10 years of my life, just do this shit. Every, make, make music, make music, rinse, wash, repeat, whatever. Just keep doing it until something shakes. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's a process. It's a long process, but, I mean, if you're... If you really love that thing, if you really like to do it, if you really like to draw, if you really like to snowboard, if you really like to uh, commentate on basketball, if you really like to shoot videos, if you really like to, um, you know what I mean? Whatever it is you really like to do, just do it. Just do it, like Nike says. All right, so if you enjoyed this podcast, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe, uh, or follow, whatever this is on. Uh, Appreciate all you guys. Peace.